in the east of the Niger, no matter the size of the event, please ring me up. Let's come and make memories with you. So this is how we welcome you to the show this morning. How are you? I'm fine. Henshon. Henshon Jacobson. Henshon Jacobson. And you look so beautiful. <clears throat> what a <about> fine girl. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. Are you are, are you toasting me on air or what? Like. You want to make my fans jealous or what? No, um, I'm, I'm, I appreciate good things. Oh, really? I'm good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate good things. I have to say. All right, thank yeah. you so much. You also look nice. I like the, oh. I like your bear. The bear gang, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing. Thank you so much. So last year you wrote the book, um, F Six Figure Online Business, online business guide. guide. Okay, I remember that we had a lot of trend, negative trend about Nigeria when it comes to online business. And again, because people have invested in so many online business and most time they get frustrated. Even right now, there's been a lot of tension in Port Harcourt now. So I wrote the book to explain to people what online business is because most time, whenever I mention online business, people think about MMM, think about all those um, business, all those scam the kind of business, scam, kind of kind of scam. Scams, yes, all those and, kind of business. Yes. And people also think about Yao. So I wrote the book to explain to people, online business is you um, being valuable, like selling something mm -hmm. online, but using the online platform. Pla platform. So that's as, uh, um, Facebook, Facebook any other platform, their website, okay, all of that. So of you that. using the digital platform to provide value okay. because people pay for value. It could be in form of a product, it could be in form of a service. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what online business is about providing value and then getting paid for and it. According to your book, it's possible that I can actually make a six figure user. Yes, ex ex exactly, exactly. People are making it, it just depends on um, your value. If your value is worth that amount, mm -hmm. of course, people are going to pay what for What kind you. of business can I actually do online that can give me that kind of figure? Okay, but like like right now, one of the skills I think everybody needs to learn is um is e trading. Okay. So e trading, a lot of guys that invested, I will check yesterday, Bitcoin over twenty million. Meanwhile, as the beginning of the year, we we're talking about five million. Anyway, so we are not here to market all of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the six figure guide, and that's your book. Yeah. That if I wanted to get that, how do I get it? So in the book, we have over fifty business ideas that you can actually. No, how do I that. get that book? Okay, you, you can you can you Google my name or the book online or you send me a DM or you check my website. So you have them get yes, for you to get it. Done. So that means for that because you want to get start making six <laughs> figure using a, a social media platform. Yeah, from Port Harcourt, you can actually do it exactly, if you anyway, read Henshaw's book. So today design. we'll be looking at the twenty twenty one strategies that has proven to work. That can work according to the principles propelled <laughs> by Henshaw, <laughs> Professor Henshaw. <laughs> okay, th thank you so much. I, yeah. I I really love this platform because there are so many. These knowledge are not common. Mm. So like yesterday, I I one of the brand I've been working with, I help um, verify. I Google my business account in such that. People can search because in Portugal that we are now, people are searching for what we sell. People are searching for the for that businesses, we sell. It's, it's especially when when people who don't live in Portugal come into Portugal, exactly. they want to search for so businesses. Before people come to Portugal, they search for hotels in Portugal. Yes. People are searching for um, fashion stores in Portugal, restaurants, restaurants in Portugal. Restaurants in Portugal. But some people yes. they feel like, okay, I'm running an online business, but someone can even find you online. So what are you so running? Are you, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Most times you are just doing Instagram business. You are doing Facebook. You are not online. And that must be online business. You are not doing so online business. Really is so what really so, so um, um online business google everybody knows google is the biggest search on searching <laughs> because that's where people go to people go to google the second place people go to is youtube which is like the biggest search engine where people have issue okay, understand so, so they want to learn new things want to we want to get answers to their questions yes. so you need to be able to use the google tool so one of them is the latest one that google release is google people card and of course you need that. Okay. Google people card, Google allows you to save your profile. So even if you don't have a website, you don't have anything. So maybe someone I'm talking like the other day I was speaking in a church. Before I knew someone Googles my name and they was able to buy my book. Okay. Understand? Okay. If they are not there, the place cannot find you. So Google people card allows you to set up your profile, put your picture, tell a short story about yourself, and then put what you sell, put your social media handle and your website and everything. So when people are searching for it, that's the first thing that are going to see. 
So every individual has a personal brand needs needs that. Okay, so that's the first thing. One thing you need to do exactly, in 2021 exactly. as a big time business owner, as exactly. a small time business owner, as an entertainer, as anybody in fact who uses social media. Uses social media so that people can find you because most time you might be popular on Instagram okay. and when they search for you on Google, you are not there. You are not there. There's nothing to There's show. There's nothing to show. Okay. 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 So another strategy for business is yeah, 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 for business is a Google My Business space because people are looking for local search. Yes. So for instance, if I'm searching for hotels in Portugal and I'm in Portacourt, mm. they're likely going to show me hotel around Portacourt because Google has the map because yes. they're around location. Yes. So let's say you have in Uyo, they're going to show the one that is near, even churches in Portacourt, mm. anything, people are searching. Mm. So Google My Business mm. page allows you to set up their business based on Google. Okay. For example, now we we, we run a, a campaign with our media team. We're looking at top makeup artists in Portacourt. And what we did, we went to Google and go and search. Mm. After that, most people were arguing because these people, some of them, they feel that they are big. They but are Google does not recognize them. Okay, Google okay. does not recognize them. So what them. do I do? So that's the Google My Business, yeah, Google my business page. That? Yeah, um, most of them is done by professional like us. Mm -hmm. So you can either pay somebody to do it, or you get a course that can no, teach you. No, if I want to do it myself. If you want to do it yourself, then you need to learn how to do it. Either you buy a course. Hey, guy, it's not come to authenticity become a hiding information. No, I, if no, I no I'm not hiding it. You can Google My Business. No, Google My Business page. Like this one, I say Google. People card. If you yes. just search for Google My Google People card, you can set it up with your phone. Okay. But Google My Business page it takes time to verify. It. Sometimes okay. it takes up to three months. That's why either you can buy a course that will teach you, okay. or you can hire an expert, okay. or you can tumble upon a YouTube video. There are some YouTube videos that can show that can show you step by step, by step, step on how, how to do to do that. Okay. But sometimes you can also do it three months. They don't approve, or they never even approve. Or better still, get an expert. Get an expert according to the pro uh, principle. Yeah, get an expert, tension. or you buy a course. That will work you step by step because this YouTube video most time they will teach you how to do it and then they will introduce something for you to buy. And you don't need to do that. And you don't so need number to three strategy. Okay, so no, number three strategy is search engine optimization. And she talk about Google now. Search engine optimization allows you to optimize your brand, whether it's personal or corporate or brand. brand. Yes. So in this case, now when people search for you, they get to see stories that be written about you from different platforms, other people, other people platform, okay. understand? So okay. that's search engine optimization, and you using blogging and other people black platform, online PR, so that people get to see more information about you. You know, most times people don't believe what we say. Yes. They believe more what, what other people are other saying, people say saying about you. About you. Okay. So when other blog, maybe they do interviews, or maybe through events, maybe some person might just like you and decide to write stories about them. Those stories are positive. That is going to give people a good, good impression, good impression about, about you. About so you. what's next? What's good. next for strategy? <laughs> <laughs> what next do I need to do? Because okay. my blood is hot. I so need to next know. strategy is, is, called, is content. Is content marketing. Okay. It's quite unfortunate that people see social media as a as a access platform. Mm -hmm. And I stand where they just go there and post, come on by, come on by. But the best strategy to actually do, if you, if you check my platform, I share tips. I share some. What's your Instagram handle? Instagram check option. So Instagram guys, option. if you want to have uh, an example of how to actually position yourself on social media, I think his Instagram page is, is a valid example you can actually. So check him out on. And should, as in should check out on Instagram. Okay, go right now, check it out, and then let me know what you think. So. Okay, so as I was saying, um, content marketing is you using content to market yourself. But in this case, you are not you are not being promotional. Mm -hmm. So, for example, somebody's into makeup, for instance, you don't just come and say, come and buy makeup. Because I look at the makeup industry. Most people in makeup industry, but they just post their picture of their work, picture of their work. Are they you are saying not, that that is not sufficient? That, that's good enough. Someone like me, I will not buy for it because you are doing what every other person is doing. So, what should I so, do? So, content myself? marketing helps you stand out. Okay. So, for example, now it can help people know the best makeup product to use. Okay. Understand? It can help people know okay, if your skin is like this, if you are this, like this, this is the best makeup product that will work for you. Maybe people that are on a low budget, for instance. Okay. Now, so you can say, okay, if maybe your budget is low, this is kind of makeup uh, mm -hmm. product that you can buy. They are not so expensive, but they are also mm -hmm. good. Understand? You can also tell people, okay, how to. So, um, maybe you suppose your yeah, makeup is supposed to be for XYZ period of time after it's supposed to clean up so that you will not have pimples. Those are little, little things helping people solve problems because sometimes people don't people don't come on social media to buy. Mm -hmm. They just say, open Instagram, you know, they came to have fun, they came to know what is trending, <laughs> what is they trend? came to see what their friend is doing, they came to post picture. Yes, Understand? Social yes. media is more like a party where people come to have fun. Yes. So, you as a busy person need to make sure that you have a DJ, hey. you have a. <laughs> <laughs> Something that will keep them, <laughs> keep them on your page, you have good keep them food, coming back. You have good food, okay. you have beautiful girls that will be dancing That's around. Important. Understand? Yes. So, this is where content marketing comes okay. in. Understand? Okay. So, that way people don't just come buy, buy. When you do buy, some people won't follow you. Okay, they get. 
they, 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 of course, of course, they, they get they get tired. So, they, so how can uh, influencing market, influencer marketing help with the? Okay, the social marketing is actually one of the strategies that I was going to mention. Oh, really? and, 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 so I'm and, ahead of you. Yeah, 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 yeah ahead of me. And I think 2020 mm -hmm. was the year of influencer marketing. Okay. So, for example, now you're starting a business, you know, on online, for you to make sense, people need to trust you. People need to, like, people need to be able to sell to mm -hmm. somebody that a particular set of people mm -hmm. trust, understand? So if you can partner with that person, bring that person into your business, sometimes people think of money. Most of it's not, it's not money, money, money. So how is it? Like if it, I go and give uh, Insta blog my stuff to post, mm -hmm. they want to charge me. Uh, they, they say we can collaborate with them. It also depends on their business. So how do I have. collaborate with influencers? Mr. Mr. Blog is a brand. It's not. A, there's no personal. There's no personality behind okay. it. Okay. Understand? So what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the personality. So if it's a person now, yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, doing makeup now. You don't just need to be paying your makeup artist. Mm. It could be okay. You do makeup for me. Mm. I I promote you and you get clients. Okay. Understand? So always think okay, of value. Something like that. Yeah, something like that can work. Okay, Sometimes you see else? people give clothes. Yes. That people in the fashion say so you wear this color and then mention me yes. like you see like all these celebrities. some celebrities they wear yes. most of them don't buy those clothes oh, really? understand okay. they put that so that could be a form but if you have money you can go all out and pay people people start making noise about you you get all these big brand and that brand where they endorse them and then the brand they sold out mm -hmm. so whether you've been in business for a long time or you're just starting out influencer marketing every job start and make sales brand awareness visibility everything so you can just start today and then they start making sense influencer marketing everybody so makes. that is actually possible very, some very people say that some businesses will never break even until the first five years of business but you are saying with influencer marketing within, within a period of time you can actually just start yourself so of course you can just that it depends on the kind of business though but in this case based on my experience and work that i've done with mm -hmm. people and other people it's something that we have seen before most of the brands have not heard about them before, but because a particular celebrity endorses this brand, yes. people just start, start I brand. saw something you wrote about on SEO. What does that mean? The SEO is Stage Engine Automation. That's what I was talking about. So it has this SEO and um, um, social media, a uh, Stage Engine Optimization mm -hmm. and Stage Engine um, Marketing. The Stage mm -hmm. Engine Marketing is the one, most of the time you go on Google to search for something, and behind that thing that you see ad, that's paid, paid version of uh, SEO. Okay. So SEO okay. optimizing your website. Mm -hmm. Some people they have a website. You see some people they even have a blog. When they post stories, mm -hmm. people go to search for that story they cannot find on, oh, on the okay. net. So you need to strategically optimize your website or your blog so that when people are looking for article that you wrote or product that you sell, they can your article, your blog your, your blog can be found. Okay, as we begin to round up, what other strategies do we have? Okay. And then also we can also mention how this can actually help us partners <laughs> push our brands. Okay, digital okay. digital advertising and multi channel. When I talk about digital advertising, multi channel advertising. Okay, what so um digital advertising is basically advertising online, just like we have video, T V and other um, um native platform, media yes. platforms. So you can also leverage on digital platform to advertise. A platform like Facebook for instance, the main way they make money is to advertise. Okay. So people because they have an audience. What they run is a platform model business where they create a platform for. What I mean by multi channel uh, advertising is not you just focusing on a particular platform. Most people they are crazy about Instagram, but there are some people are not supposed to be on Instagram. They are not. Yeah, there are people that they are business. It's, it's on, so it's on so LinkedIn. Okay. There are people that are targeting like professional or services company, all those audience, those professional. They are, they, are, they are on Instagram, but that's not their main platform. Okay. That's why LinkedIn ad is more expensive than Instagram ad. But those, some people don't even know. Some people don't know they can run ads on Google. Sometimes you, you open your phone, you, you are doing something on a particular app, you see all those ads are popping up. Those are Google ads. Okay, so for entertainers, what do we do? Okay, for, for an entertainer, and I say a lot of entertainers, they, they focus on creating content. So in this case, now you need to think about um, content creation and content promotion. Okay. Understand? Because content creation is not enough. Just like you have a song or you have a, a skit. And Everybody then, have a song. Everyone have a So you need to think, after creating this content, how do I get people to see this content? Mm. That's when promotional strategies come in. 
all these same strategies that I've listed can also be used by anybody to promote. So you can use you can use YouTube ad. Let's say you launch a YouTube channel, for instance, and then instead of you begging your friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. you can actually set up your YouTube ad and, and then, then and then run it up and then and decide to be your audience and then maybe target a particular channel, maybe a popular celebrity that has a popular channel, people like watching. So in between that uh, that video, your own video will pop up. And if people like, they will connect with you. All right. What about the woman selling Akara on the street? How mm. can she benefit? The woman selling Akara on the street. Okay, hold on. I think I have a caller. Hello, welcome to the show. And how are you? Monday. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Thank you so much. You already have a fan. Check him on Instagram at Henshaw. Henshaw Jacobs now on Instagram. <laughs> okay, can you call your phone number? Do you have a Bible? Can you write now? Call your phone number. Okay, 007 095 0313 No, zero, say it again 0807 Yeah Alright, Mandy, thank you so much So, the woman selling a car on the streets Okay, uh, the, the woman selling a car There's something that I've been doing in Patakot recently They call it one guy, he has a car They try to brand their car So this is what they did So every Saturday, for instance, they they gather people. They don't just selling a akara. They they create a kind of social um social gathering, social um value where people come to interact. So they bring people in and what did they do? They use social media, they promote it. So people when people come, they're not just buying a car, they're coming to network. So if you are selling a car, you need to be able to think creatively how we can put this using social media to promote. Just like I just use this akara. I don't want to mention the brand name, understand? But they, they kind of create an extra value, social value. So people come in to meet people. Sometimes they bring popular celebrities, DJ, they just come. So you go there, not just going to buy a car, you're going to have fun. And they make their car so premium. Than <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show today. <laughs> this has been Henshan Jacobson, one of the biggest brands when it comes to digital advertising in the whole of Port Harcourt. And of course, Niger Delta by extension. I think he's also going national, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are, we are going. We are so going if you want more information about Henshaw, check him out on just Google the name Henshaw Jacobson, and then every information you need about him will be right there. I, I, I love to appreciate young people who actually know what they are doing and who's taking the extra pain to learn, learn, and unlearn. And this is what Jacobson has done over the years. So, thank you for coming on our thank show. Thank you so much. I appreciate Adako. And last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, so for 2020, 2021, take your business serious. Make sure you are not just doing Facebook or Instagram business. Take it on Google because that's the global market. That's where everybody is. And and don't feel that this is for big brand. You can do it. You don't need to limit yourself. Just learn what you need to do and then take it. Thank you. <laughs> And this is how we wrap it up on today's episode of the Epoch. Don't forget your dreams are valid and you, my friend, can be anything you want to do. And of course, this week also, we lost one of the legendary black act actor, Cecilia Tatsen. She passed on at 96. Recently, just before she passed on, one of the uh, interviews that was held in um, Good Morning America, she was asked, what do you want, when that time comes, what and how do you want to be remembered? She said... I want to be remembered as somebody that did my best. So my friends, as I leave you this morning and today's episode of the Epochs, I want you to know that whenever you do something, let people remember you for doing your best at all times. Have yourself a lovely weekend. And of course, my yeah, makeup was done by the that. amazing A0 underscore makeovers. Follow me across all social media platforms at Adako. This is Epoch on your favorite TV channel, Silver Play Television. Port Harcourt for events of all kind. Remember, I'm the first call. <laughs> call me so we can come make memories together. And special thank you to all the backroom guys who has made this episode wonderful. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.